All right, guys, so I am back here in my snake room, and I put out a few videos about my dogs and, and my cows and, and looking at the views. I know what you guys really want to see. You guys want to talk about snakes. <laughs> so let's talk about uh, some snakes or something related to <laughs> the ball python hobby. And uh, I've had a few questions over the last few weeks about my uh, ball python egg incubator and I've kind of showed it through a couple videos but you know if you don't really showcase things they kind of get buried and and, and you, you kind of it's it <laughs> unless you watch all my videos kind of binge watch everything uh, you really can't find the information so in this video uh, I really want to just focus on uh, looking at uh, my ball python egg incubator and I've had a few comments. Some people say, uh, where can I buy one? <laughs> where did you get it? And let me show you. So I'm in my snake room here. And right outside of my snake room, I actually keep it just right around the corner. And this is my incubator right here. And it is pretty big. I actually had uh, really good success with it this year. And if you ask me, where I got it, I actually built it. <laughs> so, so basically what it is, is it's a beverage cooler. And uh, uh, I think it's called, I think the brand name was Cool Right. Uh, oh, oh, here it is, Cool It. <laughs> it is a Cool It. It's got a lock on the door, really nice, fancy glass. It's actually brand new. And brand new, these coolers cost about well here's the uh, the info on it if you're curious brand new I'd say th this costs about uh, $1,100 for this cooler and I was really really fortunate so uh, the ball python season was quickly approaching and I was thinking I need a cooler and I was looking at refrigerators and beverage coolers and a uh, whole bunch of different things and looking at Craigslist every day every day and there was a guy that bought this cooler on Craigslist and the compressor failed. And I'm guessing he probably replaced it for free <laughs> from, from the manufacturer. And he was selling for $200. I thought, well, $200, it's kind of pricey for a broken beverage cooler, but it was perfect for, uh, for what I needed. And I converted it into uh, an incubator. And this is, uh, originally what I did is, is uh, I put some some of these heat mats that you put under a uh, uh, like a glass aquarium. Uh, they sell it's like a reptile heat map on the back, and I found it wasn't enough to actually heat. And what I did is I mapped it with a temperature probe. So I put a temperature probe here and then a corner and then on every shelf all the way. And I found the back was perfect over here, but over here in the front corners. It was really not warm enough. And I think it was because of this glass door. So then what I did is I went to Reptile Basics and I basically bought these and they connected them with these. You can, you can have them cut them to any length and they basically cut the connectors. And I had two of them, one on each side and basically I plugged it into a power strip. And then the power strip is basically controlled by a uh, heat controller down here. And this is actually a VE300. And I, I've been opening it a little bit, so <laughs> the probe is uh, kind of freaking out because I had it open. But normally it keeps a really solid 90 degrees. And then what I do is I, I have this battery backup here just in case the power goes out. And I've unplugged it for quite a while. And it actually holds... Uh, on that battery backup for I would say a couple hours at least it doesn't really take a whole lot of power and then on the bottom so so basically this has a big fan on the top and uh, it has a it has a fan on the bottom that I actually put down here I actually put two fans and uh, uh, let me uh <laughs> Let me kind of show you uh, the back of the unit and kind of what I did. Alright, so I kind of have my flashlight because it's dark in here, but <laughs> you can kind of see the back has a panel on it. And what I did is I took the screws off of that panel and I got into the, into the, basically the inner workings of the system. This is really nice because it's on, 
it's on wheels and it rolls pretty good pretty fairly good on the carpet <laughs> but uh what i did is a lot of people kind of gut the whole inside take out the compressor and all the wires and everything and what i did is i just kept disconnecting connectors until I disconnected basically the compressor, the fan up here. Uh, I was kind of hoping I could get the fan working without everything else, but it seems like it's connected. And I was able to keep the lights, which is really nice. And then on the side over here, it's got a couple little switches that you can uh, <laughs> turn the lights on here. So that's really nice. And then it had a, a computer display right down here that I disconnected so everything's except the lights is disconnected and I basically ran my own heating and electronics and everything and it's working <clears throat> really nice the only the only one thing that I noticed is I had two of these little fans moving air and with two of them these actually produce too much heat <laughs> And I was having a problem controlling the heat, and I couldn't figure out why it was getting so hot. And uh, I finally realized it was those fans. And now I just basically run one kind of pointing straight up to circulate the air. And that works great. And one other issue I've had is late in the season, basically uh, from across the room, the sun kind of comes in and hits the, the, the bottom levels down here. And I found with the egg boxes and uh, basically the, <laughs> the sun hitting them, they, they heat up a little bit more than I would like. And I've actually had some eggs hatch like, I would say, five days early with, with the sun hitting them and it, and it heating up. And without the sun, they're hatching uh, sometimes five days late, <laughs> later than 55 days. They're hatching about 60. So, uh, you know, I think really some of it's really temperature dependent. If you get them a little too hot, they'll hatch about 50 days, a little, uh, you know, normal 90 degrees. They hatch about 60 days. So uh, that's pretty much it. It's It's been working really well. I was thinking about moving it to another location to get it out of the sun and kind of kind of get everything to hatch about 60 days so that's my incubator thanks for watching and i will see you next time